Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to cover the built-in software on the Samsung Omnia Pro B7610. Samsung has done a lot to cover up Windows Mobile, and they've really skinned almost every part of the operating system. We're going to take a look at the interesting things now, but we'll cover everything in full in the final review coming up soon on PocketNow.com. So let's start off and turn on the device and zoom in on the screen a little bit. Okay, so we've already talked about the home screen interfaces. I'll put a link up at the end of this video if you, in case you want to jump back and see it. Let's go into the start menu, and we're going to cover a few things here. So we're not going to talk about the settings right now because we're going to cover that in another video. There's a lot of things that you can change on this device. Let's go down the list a little bit. Let's go into the media player, which is actually really fantastic. This device is DivX certified, so it can play DivX video and really any other video format you can throw at it, which is great because even HTC devices can't play that many video file formats. So you probably have to buy Core Player for twenty or thirty dollars, which is ridiculous. But but fortunately, the Omnia Pro has uh, a fantastic multimedia player. So if we go into landscape right now, it will kind of go to a cover flow like display, which is not as nice as some other devices, but it's pretty cool. So we can kind of flip, flick through our music, tap on an album cover, it goes off to the side, and, uh, and it will play. And if there is no album art, like as is the case here, um, it, it will sort of put a default album cover there. And click stop so it stops playing. And I'm going to go back into Portrait. Going over to the next side, we have albums, and we can flick through. Something that's really interesting about the Omnia Pro is that when you flick scroll, you get haptic feedback. You get a vibration that gets, uh, that gets faster as you flick faster, and as you get slower, it goes tick, 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 kind of until it stops, which is a really interesting sensation. Haven't decided yet if it, if it really helps, um, but no other device that I know of does that. Uh, we can go over to Artists, we can go to Video, and here I have an episode of The Office, and it starts playing, and this is a DivX file, and I can flip it over to Landscape, and it will go into widescreen. There we go. Video quality is fantastic. It looks terrific on the AMOLED display. Frame rate is pretty darn high. Very smooth motion video. And it's great that you can just load up an SD card or micro SD card with video files that you may have on your computer and be able to watch them right on your device without getting a new video player. And of course it has 3.5 millimeter audio so that you can just plug in your headphones and watch some content. Very nice. Let's move on. Here we have the photo viewer, which is quite simple. I've added some pictures here from the snow folder so we can tap on an image and it will open it up and if we jump into landscape pretty fast screen rotations we can flick from picture to picture it's taking a second to render it there because I think it's searching the storage card we can double tap to zoom in zooming is pretty smooth we can see uh, over here in the corner where we are in the picture double tap to zoom out zooming is not as smooth as you'll find on an HTC device but it's pretty capable So very nice photo viewing experience on this device, and the AMOLED screen really helps to make colors pop quite a bit. The device comes with Opera Browser pre-installed. It's version 9.5, and it works quite well. Let's go to a website just to see how it renders pages and how quickly it does. So I'm going to slide out the keyboard and do pocketnow.com. And let's see how long that takes. It's over Wi-Fi right now. Okay, so it's almost done there, reasonably fast, about 10-15 seconds. Definitely not as fast as the HTC uh, HD2, which really benefits from a 1 gigahertz processor and a custom version of Opera Mobile, but definitely capable browsing that is similar to other devices that use this particular browser. Of course, if you want to get really fast browsing, you're using it over Edge, Skyfire is definitely the way to go. So we're going to exit that. Moving down the list, we have FM radio, which will only work if you have your headphones plugged in. Camera, we will cover full camera photo quality and uh, video quality in the full review. We have schedule, which is really Samsung's replacement for the default Windows mobile um, schedule application or the calendar application, which works quite well. So you can tap on a particular day. You see what's going on down there. Um, you can tap down on a particular appointment to see the details of that. You can switch views from, um, from week view here, which shows you your appointments, and you can tap individually on an item here. 
to zoom in. We can go to uh, agenda view, which is always handy. And you can just flick through and see what your appointments are coming up in the next few days. So a nice replacement to uh, the Windows Mobile Calendar application. And what you'll notice a lot is that the Omnia 2 and the Omnia Pro does a lot of white text on a black background. And that's to help really text pop to take advantage of the AMOLED screen. And it also helps to save on battery life a little bit. The device is only lighting up the pixels that it's using. So the fewer white areas there are on the screen, the less power consumption that's uh, be taking place. Let's go down a little bit more, see what else we have here. We have the memo application, which we talked about in the, uh, in, in the previous video. We have the video editor, which is a simple way to edit some video that you take on your device. It's nothing too fancy. This is obviously not going to replace uh, desktop software. We have file manager, task switcher, which is kind of interesting. We saw this on the Omnia 2. Basically, it'll provide a little thumbnail of all of the tasks you have open or the programs. And you can flick through them in a palm pre-like way, although it's just an extra step. It may be smart to link this to one of these buttons down here so you can quickly access that if you find it to be useful. We have streaming players, so you can watch videos off of m.youtube.com. We have a few games, the sort of usual games that uh, you've come to expect. A podcast viewer, office mobile, communities which is essentially just a link to lots of different online communities. They're really just simple website links. You click on Facebook, um, you can go to the site, you can upload pictures to Facebook, which may be helpful. You can also do the same with a Flickr, Friendster, MySpace, Photo Bucket, or Picasa. So if you've got a lot, of the, a lot of pictures on your device and you want an easier way to get them from your device to Facebook, this may be a helpful way to, to do that. Let's go back into the Start menu. Smart Reader, which will convert a business card or text that you take a picture of into actual digital text. And it works so, so. You really have to position the card just right. We have a simple voice recorder here, although it works a little bit better than the standard voice recorder in Windows Mobile. Hello, this is a test. And it comes through quite nice. Going back down the list, we have Adobe Reader. We have Unit Converter. A lot of little added extra things that, that helps to round out the offering. Here's the standard Windows Mobile Calendar in case you want to jump back into that. We have a cool digital picture frame feature, which we we saw in the Omnia. What it'll do is it'll provide a slideshow and the time plus notifications. So the idea here is that when you're at work, you could put this up near your computer. Uh, because this device is so power savvy, it doesn't matter that it's turned on showing you the time and the slideshow in the background because it doesn't use that much power. So it's a nice little way to use your device as a for another purpose than just using it for phone calls. And that's pretty much it for installed programs on the Samsung Omnia Pro B7610. They've really done a lot of things to customize the interface and to hide the fact that it's running Windows Mobile. The AMOLED screen makes everything look fantastic, and the power consumption is really incredible, too. Um, I'm at 71%, and I've been using this device for a day and a half now. It's just, it's, it's mind-boggling. Coming up in the full review, we'll take a look at all of the programs in detail. Uh, we'll talk about battery life, we'll talk about performance compared to other devices, and a lot more. That's it for now.